Hi, welcome back to my channel. It is Vlogmas day 11. Happy birthday, Tommy. It is finally his birthday. We have been celebrating for a month now, at least by this point. So today we were gonna make a cake, but he asked instead for a trifle. Um, and to make it more keto than actual cake um, so that he doesn't feel absolutely awful from eating too many sweets. Um, so we got cheesecake, sugar-free cheesecake pudding. Um, I got some zero sugar Cool Whip and so we're gonna layer that with some strawberries into just a standard trifle dish. And then he also asked that I make some peanut butter fudge because his mom used to make some of that every year. Um, and it's one of our favorites so that he can have just a small piece of that. Um, and I'll show you my easy kind of hack for that using my KitchenAid mixer. But first let's make the pudding so that it can get to chilling. So according to the box directions, per package you need two cups of milk. And I'm gonna make two boxes. I don't know if I said, but we got cheesecake flavored pudding. You can substitute with heavy cream, but I would water it down about a half a cup to each cup of milk um, because that way, so you would take, so for two cups worth of milk, if you're doing heavy cream, I would do about a cup and a half of water to half a cup of heavy cream so the consistency is correct and so that it, uh, it sets correct. But for Isa today, and because this is not just for us but for also for party guests, I'm just gonna use whole milk, which is the lowest on the glycemic index as far as sugar is concerned for the actual milks. And because I did uh, two boxes, that's four cups of milk. And then blend till it starts to thicken. So the consistency I like is till when it just coats the beaters and is thick enough that it's not completely runny. And see how it's goopy almost is what I would describe it as. That's kind of the consistency I like. Now we're gonna put it in the fridge until it sets a little bit more while I make the peanut butter fudge. On to the peanut butter fudge recipe. So I have a hard time getting peanut butter fudge to be smooth and set up and just all of those things. This recipe is fantastic for that. So you put the sugar and this one calls for water as your liquid ingredient and you put that on the stove, you bring it to a full boil and boil for exactly one minute, not a minute longer. You have peanut butter in your stand mixer ready to go and while that is hot as soon as you pull it off you pour it into that peanut butter and have the mixer going and as you mix it thickens up and the shine goes away so it turns matte and then once it thickens up it's done you pour it out onto a buttered um, tray or plate or things like that, Pyrex dish. I did it on a thinner tray because we want thinner pieces. Um, but it is so, so, so easy to make. Um, his aunt showed us one time or talked about it one time and we have loved it ever since just because of how easy it is to make. You don't have to have a special pan. You don't have to have a, a candy thermometer, none of that. So let's get started making peanut butter fudge. Half a cup of water. Mm -hmm. 
half a cup of white sugar. My induction burner is really handy for this. You bring it to a boil. Stirring occasionally. So while that is coming up to a boil, I like to measure out the peanut butter. This is my favorite thing because you measure it and then you push it out and scrape it off. So it's just really, really easy. The recipe calls for a cup of peanut butter and a splash of vanilla at that stage um, after the peanut butter starts mixing in. So I always have it handy. I make sure I push it down and get all the air pockets out. And now we have a cup of peanut butter. And then the way this works, you literally push the bottom and it slides right out. And then you just scrape off the end. I like to get this completely ready, putting the whisk all the way on the thing, getting it plugged in and ready to go because it will come to a boil faster than you expect. It's one of the benefits of a induction burner. So I messed up the peanut butter fudge, so we're gonna have to redo part of it. The um, sugar was supposed to be two cups instead of a half a cup because on the instruction portion it said add half a cup of water and sugar to the to a pot and bring to a boil. The problem is is that up top the <laughs> ingredients say two cups of sugar. Then when I went to go measure my new peanut butter, my spatula broke off in the peanut butter. One of those days. So, I'm <laughs> He says it tastes amazing, wants to like pour that on popcorn maroon, I guess. Um, but I'm gonna go fix this and get back to where we were. Um, so I'll show you what that is supposed to look like when we mix it up. Give us just a minute. All right, now we're gonna try this again. Two cups of sugar. Half a cup of water. I like to stir it right off the bat to get all the sugar wet. Alexa, set a one minute timer. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start. It's amazing how much better it looks when you measure correctly. Then after that, I just put it in the fridge until it cools because I like cold fudge personally. I like it when it's a little bit warm, but for us to eat it with guests, I'm gonna let it fully cool in the fridge. So let's go back to making the trifle. All right, so for this trifle, we did the pudding. Like I said, we have the zero sugar. I got frozen sliced strawberries because strawberries are not in season around us. So I'm gonna start with a base layer of strawberries. Then I'm gonna put some of the pudding. Then I'm gonna do some whipped topping. 
and then rinse and repeat. So layer by layer. Let's put this into fast forward. So that's how easy it is. The trifle's done. We are ready for his party. I'm ready for his party. I don't know if he is. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go finish getting some things done, get this video edited and up, out to you guys. But that is all I have for you today. I will see you tomorrow with footage from his birthday party and some different things, but until then, bye for now.